Hello everybody, this is Toby Delbrook with the Institute of Neuroinformatics at the University of Zurich and ETH Zurich, also associated with Innovation.com. I'm going to show you in this video how to download and run a runtime release of JAER. JAER stands for Java Address Event Representation. It's a software project that we developed in our research group, the Sensors Group, uh, for a multitude of different kinds of audio and visual sensors that we've been working with over the years. Um, basically, the easiest way to get going with one of these sensors is to download a release from the releases page of the GitHub project. So if you go to the releases page and pick the top item and pick the zip file from that and download that any place you like, say downloads folder, and then unzip that file, um, you get a folder structure that looks like this. It has a launcher for Linux, a launcher for 32-bit Windows uh, Java Virtual Machine and a launcher for 64-bit Windows Java Virtual Machine. Um, this small EXE is just a small Windows program that launches the Java Virtual Machine and starts up, uh, sets the class path and starts up the main class of JER in it. So if I click that launcher and assuming that I have a Java runtime environment installed, it should start up the viewer with the chip class by default of DVS-128. That's a DVS sensor, a dynamic vision sensor with 128 square pixels. Uh, further tutorials will show you how to run this viewer and all that. The thing I want to concentrate on here is how to get this release and how to install a Java Virtual Machine. If you don't have a Java Virtual Machine installed, especially a, a recent one, at least Java 1.8 or Java 8 as it's also known, you can go to java.oracle.com and go to Java Standard Edition and download some version of the Java runtime environment. I personally use NetBeans, which is a nice integrated development environment. And this, but clicking on this button here, downloads a bundle which combines the latest Java development kit, JDK, uh, with NetBeans, the latest NetBeans development environment. Um, if you install this JDK plus NetBeans, you'll already get a Java runtime environment and your environment variable should be set up at least on Windows so that if you double click this launcher it should just start the, the viewer. So that's it for this short tutorial on how to download and install a runtime release. Other tutorials 